Hello, it's Marco Matoshwich here from Markham3D.com. And today we're going to be talking about the spin tool in Blender 2.8. Now, a little bit has changed from 2.79, where before I used to be able to just put my 3D cursor there and select spin and off it went. Now they've changed a little bit where it only sticks to the X, Y, and Z axis. So for instance, if I select the spin tool here on the left, up here, you can see that I've got the X, the Y, and the Z's highlighted at the moment. So what I'm just gonna do is I'm going to select, go into face mode, and I'm just gonna bring that down to zero. Whoops, hold control to snap that down to the grid. I'm gonna put my 3D cursor about here. And now I am on front uh, right orthographic mode, and I don't have an option to spin this way. So what you need to do is actually come up here and select X, I'm uh, holding shift and I can select them all now. So from here, I've got the face selected and I can spin my object. Now, if I hold control, I now have snapping, which is absolutely lovely. Um, and then from here, what we can do is just start using the spin tool as we normally would. Um, I'll plop it here. I wanna spin it on the Z axis. Let's go hold control. And there we go. So now we're kind of building some really cool pipes. Actually, I've got square pipes here. But if I wanted to, I could go tab. Let's go shift S, uh, cursor to world origin, shift A, mesh, cylinder. And let's just go G, X. And I'm just going to move this over a bit. Um, U, hide. So let's just come up here. And... I'm just going to do a 90 degree bend. So this point's going to end up here because obviously we've got one blender unit, one blender unit. So hold that. Whoops. So the reason why that's happened is because I didn't have the face selected, but I had the whole object selected. So there's some pretty crazy stuff you could do. So let's go back into orthographic mode, select the top face, control, snapped. I'm going to extrude and let's just keep snapping. Let's plop this one here because we want it to spin around here there we go hold control there's our 90 extrude and then i want to do like a full 180 here so i'm just going to plop this here ish and let's go whole 180 but as you can see it's kind of funky so unfortunately we can't change the spin afterwards how many steps so we actually have to go backwards so i'm going to do control z Control Z, Control Z, Control Z, Control Z. Whoops, too far. And now I've got 18 steps and hold Control and there we go. So it's a really wonderful tool. I love my spin tool for making pipes. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit like and subscribe. It really helps me out and it keeps you up to date with any other future videos that I produce.